morning. Wildlife officials tell me that there may be as many as 40 sea lions here at Willamette Falls that keep coming back year after year and eating the fish here. 40 they'd like to see removed. Just a little bit ago, I seen one swim just 40 feet off the beach here. Tim Patterson has been fishing on the Willamette River near Oregon City for more than 40 years. In that time, he's watched the sea lion population swell. They'll go back and forth, back and forth, and you see the steelhead jump and try to run from them, and then we'll see them down river chewing on one. Right now, there's a small run of wild steelhead on the river, something fishermen are not allowed to keep. Tim pulled one in today, snapped a quick pick, and put it back into the river. And that, the fish that I caught just a little bit ago was a wild fish, and we sent it on its way. But the sea lions are not discerning diners when it comes to endangered fish. So the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife worked for around two years to secure a permit to kill California sea lions near Willamette Falls to try to preserve what wild steelhead remain. It has nothing to do with fishing. This has everything to do um, with saving a run of wild native Oregon steelhead, and that's what this is all about. Swartz says before they resorted to getting federal permission to trap the sea lions in cages on the Willamette and euthanize them, they tried relocating them. Some released near Newport swam back to the falls in just two to six days. They've learned, you know, there's a smorgasbord down here. Uh, they've learned to go back and tell their buddies in California, hey, you know, come up here, the eating's good. Tim says sea lions have been here well before us, so he sees both sides of the coin when critics argue sea lions should be spared. But he also feels it may be the only way to save the wild steelhead. The sea lions over the years um, have been decimating these, this run here. We sit and watch it all day long. There's nothing that anybody can really do. Swartz says that there will be crews of people working on this effort three to four days out of the week. He says they hope to continue the trapping and the euthanization of the sea lions through May. Back to you.